welcome again to my space i am patricia so i shared yesterday in case you haven't seen my previous video try as much as possible to you know watch it okay um, as it will help you to understand um, what i'm about to say here as well so like i said in that video god have um different ways he speaks to, he speaks to us God speaks to us in different ways and one amazing thing I have come to know about God is that he uses our environment to interact with us yes I have not been conscious about this but lately I found it fit to you know or important to be conscious about you know how God speaks to me with my, through uh, my environment so I belong to this beautiful uh, Bible gang where we read the Bible share our understanding of the Bible and our leader who God endowed with more spiritual knowledge shares on the, explains to us more about each um, questions and the Bible and all that and it's so interesting and one day she asked us based on a particular uh, verse of a Bible that we read so she asked us that how do we hear from God how do we think that God speaks to us see let me tell you we know that the major major ones that the major ways that God used to speak to man is through his word through his word in the Bible, through the mouth of his servant, through dreams, through our consciousness, because every human being have a conscience, whether good or bad. So these are the, don't put me wrong, from my own understanding, these are the four major, major ways that God speaks to us. But there are many other ways that, that God speaks. And like I said initially, I have come to, be conscious to know many ways that God speaks to me in particular. Like one of the ways that I get, I know that God is actually speaking to me is one, when I, apart from what I mentioned previously, this is another way also that God speaks to me. When I have this conviction in my spirit about something or I, I saw something in the Bible, I read about it, then I go to church or I go to or I'm playing a particular video, a, a heading a preaching or a song, you know, and that same word comes up again in that person's mouth. And I'm like, oh wow, this is actually God speaking to me. And it happens to me several times. Another way again is that my environment, I might be doing something and my spirit will just click to that thing. So it's a particular thing I said, This is God speaking to you. And I will like trying to picture what is going on so this afternoon as i was coming out from my house i'm actually in my children's uh, school waiting for them to close and come out and go and pick them so as i was coming out i grabbed my trash to trash it out and immediately i carry one of the trash and i saw ants all these small small ants under one of them immediately i carried it up they started looking for their ways they started running up and down you no know, trying to escape rough for their lives and that was how god spoke to me this afternoon and i started to think about it and what was coming to my mind was this is how life is everybody have a journey i have a journey you have a journey our journey are not meant to be the same so if i leave my own journey or my own race or my own calling and focus on your own calling i would definitely miss the way I will definitely miss the way. The way that God has designed for me, I will no longer see it because I have been clouded by your own way that I'm trying to follow. So in life, irrespective of our differences or our ethnic or whatever, everybody have their own calling. Everybody have their own different path they are taking in life. So when you leave your own path and follow another person's path, you have missed your own calling. You have missed your own God designed destiny. You have missed your own God's way. And that is so, that is why most of the times we pray, 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 pray. It's as if our prayers are not being answered. It is because we've already missed it from the onset. We've already missed it from the onset. Let me give you an instance. Oh, what will I say now? What example will I say? Holy Spirit, help me. What example will I say? 
Okay, let me use this simple illustration. Um, for the fact that Mr. A, for instance, got a new wig. I don't know how she managed to get the wig. Oh, the wig is so beautiful, no doubt. And you want to get it by all means. And you want to even get a more higher one that Mr. A has gotten. Then you go extra mind to get that. So I watched a Nigerian movie where a lady was uh, convincing another another lady to go and do BBL by all means. That her man, her husband to be, gave her 80 million to go and do BBL. That after that, he even uh, took her to Dubai for holidays and all that. Where the other lady who have a perfect relationship went and started troubling her husband to be as well. They're not yet married. I was like, eh, hey, I want to do this, I want to do that. My friend has done her own, blah 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 blah. And the man was like, You're yeah, okay the way you are. At the end of the day, that's her friend. No man gave her any shishi. Thorough no man gave her. Rather, she went and sold their family land in order to go and do whatever she wants to do. She wants to get a BBL, okay? She wants to go and do that. And when the friend now finally hear the truth or got to know the truth, she was like trying to hit her head on the wall. I said, no, that is not it. You don't follow what people are doing because you want to be like them. God has made us in his image and his likeness and has given every one of us a destiny to pursue. Don't leave your destiny. Pursue your own. Those ants run in different ways, in, in different parts. Those ants did not follow one line. Those ants, I believe, will not end up in one line. Even if they will end up in one line, they follow different ways. There is different road to get to America. There are different ways to get to UK. There are different ways to get to any country. But which way do you choose to follow? Because people are following the easiest way, does it make it right? Because people are following one particular way, does it make it right? So advise yourself today. Don't let people's life determine how your life should be. Allow God to lead you. Allow God to direct you. Allow God to show you the way. And when he's speaking to you, be conscious to know that it is God that is speaking to you. It is right that you follow the way of God. Don't let the way of man deceive you. Don't be a copy, copy and a follow, follow person. Let God be your lead. You know, my prayer lately has, been, has always been, God enforce your will in my life. God cause me to walk in your will. Because Bible says there is a way that seems right right unto a man, but the end is destruction. You know, I might think this is the right way, but to God it is not. So, following God's way is the only sure, the only sure we remember when Jesus was calling his first disciples, he told them, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. They did not question him, they did not doubt him. What they did was like, Bam! They followed him, and God showed them the way. And they never regret following him. Who you they follow? Who you they follow? Determine what they follow you. Follow who no road, okay? Abi. <laughs>